Hey, what's happening, everybody out there in the XRP community? Thanks for coming back to Investment Perspectives. So uh, today I wanted to make another video based around some of the points that we've been making over the last week or so. And I really want to drive them home because there's still things that we can't take off the table. And I think they deserve a little more conversation at the very least. So, uh, so the theme for today's video is XRP, Ripple's $55 billion. Do they get to keep it? So my question is, not only that, will Ripple get to keep the $55 billion that are in auto lock escrow after the legislation, the regulation, and the classification, classification excuse me, comes down for the crypto space? And specifically, how that reflects to XRP. Will Ripple be able to continue to hold such an enormous large amounts of XRP, whether it's auto lock and escrowed or not. Now, if you guys, I think it's a, a valid question because I think we all realize that XRP at some point sooner or later will be worth an enormous amount of money per coin in order for it to be the level playing field or a liquidity solution that works for the entire globe. And I do believe that that's going to take place and that will happen. So my thought is, is that let's just say three to five years, it could be sooner, it could be later. Let's just take an example of terms, right? Let's just say in five years, the coin is worth $500 or $1,000 a piece. You pick, it doesn't matter. It's a lot of money. Imagine them holding still 50 to 55 billion coins. You can imagine what the value would be on that. More than likely, they'd be the richest company on planet Earth or damn near close to it. And certainly more, you know, uh, uh, more valuable than a lot of countries on the planet, you know, and their economies. So for that reason alone, I don't see them being able to hold that many. Another question while we're right here is, is do we actually know that they still have 50 or 55 billion? Have those coins been allocated to people and they're being doled out now. Is that what we're actually seeing with these huge amounts of XRP that are moving around from different accounts? Is that we're watching institutional buyers get their positions in place? Guys, these are all very, very good questions, I feel like. Another set of good questions are, XRP has futures contracts being sold on it everywhere throughout the world except the United States. Where are we waiting to see legislation? the United States. I don't believe that that's a coincidence. And I happen to also believe that the longer this goes on, I think we have to get to a place where we ask ourselves, will there be some kind of a trading halt or a price set that takes place? Because I can't see the third party provider of those future contracts leaving their liability door open so that they can take the enormous hit of paying out the open futures contracts as they would release the, the futures contracts market in the United States. I just don't see that taking place. I would see the futures contracts that would be currently open, called up and settled, whether it would be at the end of their term or, or before then, but I would expect to see them settled. And then I would expect to see the market open up to the U.S., and possibly a price set take place within that same time frame. Because I would imagine to see if we have the legislation, the regs and the classification, then I would expect to see along with that a price set that would start to begin to truly value XRP for its use case and its real intended use. Because right now, the market cap for XRP is retail speculative right? That is where the price reflects what we feel it's worth in the retail market, okay? It has no reflection on price to its actual use case or its real intended use yet, but it will. And when it starts to, that is where we start to pull away from the rest of the pack. And I think we all already know that. So now, all right, so we talked about the notion, will ripple be able to keep the 50, 55 billion coins once classification, regs, legislation, all that come through. 
do they have that many now? Because it's all OTC, so we really don't know the ins and outs of that anyway. Could it possibly be that a majority or whatever percentage that they've already come up with with the SEC and the CFTC and all the powers to be that have told them you'll need to get rid of this many and you'll be able to keep this many, right? And they're sure that they've had those conversations as well. Look, we've heard Corey Johnson, Brad Garlinghouse, give the analogy of Chevron and Ripple and XRP and oil, right? And about how just because Chevron pulls oil out of the ground and sells it, the company can be a security, but the product they have is a commodity. Beautiful analogy. Works great for XRP. One little thing, though. Chevron doesn't have all the rest of the oil in the world in their warehouse. But Ripple has all the rest of the coins in their auto lock escrow. It is a point to be noted. Okay? So... With that being in mind, and that being said, I go back to a conference that uh, Dilip Rao had mentioned once in a conference that uh, the retail market existed because they needed to create an ecosystem. That always stuck with me. And I think, I've, I think the reason I understand that to be now why he said that was because they really need to generate a, re, a retail speculator market just to get an ecosystem going because there was no way in the world that they could be chosen for this by the Fed like I believe that they are and have been and officially will be at some point through the Federal Payments Task Force, that's who's opened up all the doors for all these large banks to sit down with them and the financial payment provider companies that have enormous relationships all over the world and allow them to be the ones who get to come in and do some kind of a pilot and a test and a regulatory sandboxes all over the world. You know, it's someone like the Fed and the IMF who opens doors like that for a company to sit down. Just not no one just walks up and says, hey, I'm interested in doing this. And that's the way it goes. It never happens that way. So you got to keep that in mind, too, that all of this was really commissioned to be developed by the Fed in the beginning anyway. So really something of note there. So now, all right, so will they be able to hold the $55 billion? Do they still actually have $50, $55 billion on their hands? Because we've seen a lot of stuff change in hands. And the XRP futures contracts sold all over the world. Will they have to trading halt those open contracts and readjust price set for the real use of the coin when real businesses go live with it, which I would imagine is when they would roll out futures contracts with XRP. I can't see it being two different times, but maybe it could be. But at some point, they're going to roll those products out. That's why they're already selling them somewhere all over the world except the U.S. So it seemed to me at some point when they roll those products out, we're going to see something change about the market and about XRP. And I believe at that point, once we get the legislation regs and the classification and they roll out futures products in the U.S., we begin to see the real value of this coin start to happen based on its intended use, its use case utility, an intermediary bridge asset, utility asset, whatever you like to call it. But that's what it does. All right, guys, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. These are some of the great questions that are running through my mind and also coming through our streams. If you don't like live streams, I encourage you to check ours out, Investment Perspectives. We do a really great job moving through the material, and everybody that comes through is an excellent contributor to the conversation. You're really missing out. If you just think it's about me, it's not. Trust me. We have a lot of smart people out here in this community, and they really come through with some great insight. So if you have a chance to see the live streams, whether it's live or to catch it afterwards, please catch it because this community is a really, really bright bunch Learn an awful lot if you come through the streams, and it won't be from me. It'll be from every one of you. Thank you guys so much. Please hit the like and subscribe. Don't forget to come back, and we'll catch you on the next one.